immersion research day one. Restate my objectives. I will gain insight into the Gorilla family group, not by detached observation, but by full and active participation. In order to do so, I must become accepted as a member of the colony. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Very kind. Too, too kind. <laughs> I must act like a gorilla. Think like a gorilla. I must, in essence, become a gorilla. I say, boys, uh, any chance of uh, stopping for tea soon? <laughs> I'm positively pooped. <laughs> <clears throat> I have been traveling with the colony for, uh, for 22 minutes now, and I feel powerful bestial instincts awakening within me. I fear I may already be more animal than man. <gasps> Oof. Uh, uh, would any of you happen to have a needle and thread by chance? Uh, anyone? Oh, hurry, dear, hurry. The colony's juveniles are establishing their social positions, and I have to assert my dominance. Oh, honestly, Daddy, at this rate, we'll both be running around in loincloths. Hmm? <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with running around in a loincloth, mind you. <sighs> well, I, I just wouldn't mind having a fresh change of clothes now and again. Yes, yes, that would be rather nice. A dress, maybe? A sturdy cotton blend certainly suits this climate. Some decent shoes and... Size five and one half, if uh, memory serves me. Fresh Linen, soap, perfume. What are the latest hats? <gasps> what is that? It appears we have visitors. Something. That means they're staying. Who's staying? Who? Yeah. And why? We could simply ask them. Come now. Shouldn't we all be friends? We saw movement in the jungle. Thought they were rhinos. Rhinos? Do they look like rhinos to you? Uh, I must apologize for my men. They are a bit jumpy. They didn't realize that you were... So, the stories are true. Your Tarzans, this savage wild man I've been hearing so much about. You seem to have us at a disadvantage, sir. Who are you? 
That's easy. I'm a businessman. Renard Dumont, at your service. I'm the sole owner and proprietor of Dumont's trading post. And where, pray tell, is Dumont's trading post? Why, it's right here. Or it soon will be. Here? But, but there's no one around for miles. You're here, aren't you? And you're certainly not the only people in Africa. We're not? <laughs> Hardly. Why, cities are popping up all over the coast. Railroad tracks will soon span the continent. Hey. Africa is growing fast. And I intend to grow along with it. You mean profit along with it. But of course. <laughs> Cages. One of the many items I provide. Do these interest you? They do. Tarvan, wait! You will stay away from the gorillas in this valley. Some sort of ape lover, is that it? I am one of them. My dear Tarzan, I give you my word. I have no interest in your gorillas. There. Ah. Now let's put all this unpleasantness behind us, shall we? Excellent. Come, Tarzan. I think it's time we left. Wait, please. How about a little something before you go? My compliments, of course. No, thank you. We're doing quite well on our own. Come now. There must be something you can use. Canned food, tea, some new clothes, perhaps? Did you say clothes? You know, I was suspicious of that Dumont fellow at first, but I say, any man who stocks the latest Paris fashions, well, he must have a few decent qualities, wouldn't you say? As long as he stays away from the gorillas. Hey, I got a question for you. I've got an answer. That trading post was built in the rhino herding area, was it not? Mm, I guess. So they had to clear the rhino herd out of there, am I right? I'm with you so far. I didn't see a single rhino the whole time we was there. Did you? I did not. Okay, so here comes my question. What happened to the rhino herd? Headed right for the gorillas! <gasps> and Daddy! Oh, feeding time, is it? Oh, uh, very well, very well. I can best ensure my acceptance into the colony by proving my worth as a food provider. Ah! <laughs> Prepare to eat well, my gorilla brethren! <laughs> Oh, I don't believe I got a bite. Oh! Oh! Ah! Victory! Victory! Rejoice, my fellow gorillas! Rejoice! <laughs> oh, dear. Something I should know about. Is everyone okay? I think so. I wish I could say the same for our lunch. Who invited them? Perhaps um, they won't mind if I just grab a little bit of water. Or perhaps not. Not real big on sharing, are they? <laughs> what are they doing here? What we have here is what we in the scientific field would call a classic ripple effect. 
The trading post is being built here, which, like a large boulder diverting the path of a river, has displaced the rhinos from their herding area. So the rhinos, in turn, have moved into the gorilla territory. Well, I hope you... Oh, gee! Oh! <laughs> Indeed. What happens to one species in any contained ecosystem will inevitably affect other species in the same system. Look, I don't care about your contained eco it. I just got one question, all right? What are the gorillas supposed to do now? We'll have to leave. There's no other way. But this is our home. There simply isn't enough food and water here for both the gorillas and the rhinos. We'll just move on to a new home like we've done before. What if I can get the rhinos to go back? Then I'd be very impressed. Easy, easy. Bring it down slow now. Why, if it isn't Tarzan, my favorite ape man. Now, boats will arrive at the dock. Main inventory will be housed in this room over here. You must leave. I beg your pardon? The rhino herd you drove off has moved into gorilla lands. I see. Then you will give the rhinos their land back. Mm. No, I won't. <gasps> but the gorillas are your problem, not mine. As I told you before, I have no interest in gorillas, neither in harming them nor in helping them. You know you are a dangerous fellow, Tarzan. <laughs> I believe you would be more valuable to me as a friend. If you stay, we will not be friends. Perhaps. But we don't have to be enemies, either. I found that these were very effective in driving rhinos away. I could extend you a line of credit. Very well. You know where to find me if you change your mind. Use explosives on the rhinos? That's what Dumont suggested? To just blow them to smithereens? Well, I mean, it's the most barbaric thing I've ever heard. He called it effective. Yes, well, if Mr. Dumont is being so unreasonable about the whole thing, perhaps you could just go to the rhinos themselves and persuade them to leave. Hmm. Perhaps I could. Tarzan just told him to lead his herd out of the area. What did he say? What did he say? Well, I'm not sure what the literal translation would be, but it, it's something like, uh... He said no. <laughs> now Tarzan is trying to reason with him. Oh, good, excellent. Diplomacy is always the best policy in dealing with... <laughs> Hey, in the jungle, that is diplomacy. Rhinos aren't exactly known for their sportsmanship.
I guess this means the rhinos stay? And the gorillas leave. Hold still now. Uh. I don't think anything is broken, thank heaven. Of course nothing's broken. My man Tarzan is like a rock. Right, oh. buddy? See? It's all good there. Tarzan, we can't stay here any longer. The family has to leave. I can fix this. Uh. Uh. It's over, Tarzan. We have to move on. Then I will lead you. And what about Jane? Your place is with her. She could travel with us. And her father? He could come too. He's uh, all packed and ready to go. <laughs> Shall I take the lead or just... Oh, help! They're not gorillas, Tarzan. You know they can't make it out there with us. I promised Kerchak I would protect this family. And you have. But Jane is the one that really needs you now. We'll make out on our own. Here we are. Just a few more bandages. Take care of my son. We leave in the morning. All right, remember to stay warm and groom yourself properly. I can at least eight hours of sleep a night because you know how cranky you can be. Right, all right. Enough already. You're making a scene here. No, oh, I'm going to miss you too, you big lug. I know you feel just awful about this, darling, but you must understand. You've done everything you could. No, but I'm going to. <laughs> Excellent. We should open by the end of the week. You and I have business. What sort of business? My credit. It's still good. Oh, of course. What did you have in mind? This. <laughs> An excellent choice, my friend. That should take care of your little rhino problems, hmm? You understand the ways of man better each time we meet. Now let me show you how to use these items. I mean, we can't have my very first customer blowing himself to bits now, can we? Tarzan? Tarzan? Hmm. <laughs> Have you seen Tarzan? Not since he got back from the trading post. Well, what was he doing there? Oh, probably still figuring a way to get rid of those rhinos. <laughs> Explosives? The rhinos? Oh my goodness, we have to stop him! new home.
I never doubted you for a minute. So, uh, uh, perhaps you could give me some pointers on how to become more uh, <laughs> gorilla-like, huh? Of course. For starters. For starters? Put some clothes on, would you? You're not the loincloth type. Trust me on this. But gorillas don't wear clothes of any sort. Well, yeah, but we look good. You, on the other hand, not so much. You see where I'm coming from? <laughs> right here. I've <laughs> got it. Yes. Aren't you going to join the fun? Oh, not just yet. Oh, come on now. I've got a lot to celebrate. In fact, well, it seems like a happy ending all around. Maybe. But with more and more people coming to the jungle, I can't help but wonder. Wonder what? How long can it last? Hard to believe, but the guy has more to give. Does he ever sleep? More Tanta and Turk, and even more Tarzan next. Try scrubbing, soaking. <gasps> now, how on earth? Oh, wait till I catch you, you little rascal. Hello. that that belongs to me, so if you don't mind... <laughs> go on! Go on, go home! Back to your family! Oh. It, it, give me that! But, uh, that's mine, thank you very much. Why, you're, you're nothing but skin and bones. Oh. Just a little kitten, too. Have you lost your mum? Oh, do you need a home? Oh, who could resist an adorable little leopard cub like you? Might as well give up. You guys are never gonna beat me. One of these days, Tantor, we're gonna surprise you. <laughs> Look what I found. Make it go away. 
<laughs> Tell me it's a bad dream. Get that thing away from here! What's all the hullabaloo about? It's just a baby kitten. Please, Mrs. Tarzan. I happen to have a very delicate heart. <laughs> What's all the commotion out here? I found this cub in the jungle. A leopard. Jane, leopards hunt gorillas. They're dangerous. Grown leopards are dangerous, but this one's harmless. Besides, I... I didn't know what to do with him. He was all alone. I know the feeling. I once found someone who was all alone. Uh, she's talking about Tarzan, right? I gotta admit, it is kind of cute. <laughs> Gucci Gucci! <laughs> what? Oh! Maybe he could stay with us. Yeah! I'll teach you how to be a gorilla! And stop! And I could use my trunk for a cradle. Let me predict the future for a moment. That cute little face is gonna eat one of us someday. And I'm... I'm not... Don't fall for it. Oh, oh too late. Oh, come in. I got big plans for you. Auntie Turk is gonna teach you how to fetch bananas. And then we're gonna... Jane! Your problem. Uh, what? You know how Tarzan feels about leopards. Not his favorites. I'm afraid that's true. Well, then I'll just have to soften him up. Watch the little tyke for a moment, would you? Tarzan! What happened? Leopard. Jane, you go take care of Tarzan. We'll take care of things here. Oh, right. Jolly good idea. We're all... Oh, no. Hey! Now, these aren't too serious. Just scratches, really. Now, this may sting a bit. Mm. Does that hurt? No. Mm. You sure I'm not hurting you? Mm -hmm. Tarzan! Ouch! Oh, I'm sorry, love. Anyway, I've been thinking. We have so many friends here in the jungle. And so many different types. Yes, apes and elephants and baboons. Well, though I was wondering, have you ever thought of having a... a leopard as a friend? A leopard? As a friend? <laughs> Why not a python? Or I know, maybe some crocodiles. Oh, yes, crocodiles. Very droll. Jane, leopards are not our friends. <gasps> Would you look at that? Wow, a leopard cub. Quite an amazing coincidence, wouldn't you agree? I guess not. <laughs> it's a leopard. And leopards are dangerous. Then what do you propose we do with him? Leave him in the jungle. He won't last a day alone in the jungle. You know that. Well, can we at least take him to other leopards? That's even more dangerous. They'd kill us. Tarzan is quite right. Everyone knows a leopard can't change its spots. Who thought they could? Uh, it's an expression, Tarzan. It means that a creature can't find its basic nature. Then the professor is right. A leopard cannot change its spots. They're killers. Absolutely. It's simple genetics. This cob will inevitably grow into a vicious... Shoo you. Go away. Now, oh dear, where, where was I? Oh yes, um, this cob will inevitably grow into a vicious and... Oh, 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 and brutal. Oh, he's got hold of my... Oh, what am I saying? It's simply too adorable. We must keep it. Oh, aren't you the cute one? Yes, you are. Why should we help a leopard? A leopard would never help us. Tarzan, surely you of all people understand the cub's predicament. Don't forget what Kala did for you. She took a chance on a lone cub. Please, Tarzan. <sighs> all right. A chance. Way to go, little fella. You're part of the family.
fucking little Bobo. Isn't you cute? Bobo? What kind of name is Bobo? He is more of a fluffy. Maybe a Bootsy. Bootsy? I said maybe. You sure you don't mind watching over the cub? Oh, not at all. Well, thank you. I think Tarzan could use a little break from all the chaos. Don't worry about a thing, Mrs. Tarzan. <laughs> you just enjoy your evening. I got it! Doodles! He looks like a doodles to me. Why do you keep calling her a he? Oh, I don't know. Uh, maybe because um, he's a boy? Surely you jest. With that cute little angel's face, she's definitely a girl. Hey, not all girls are cute and cuddly, you know. Some are like me. Big and beautiful. You're a girl? Watch it, buddy, or I'm gonna... Where'd he go? She was here a second ago. Doodles! Doodles! Where are you, little dude? Bobo! Oh, Mrs. Tarzan's gonna kill us! Just found him. <laughs> Come near you. The last thing you want to do is get us in trouble with the boots. <laughs> Pass this. Ooh. Looks like we finally. <sighs> this is absolutely perfect. The setting sun, the cool breeze. Our treehouse covered in baboons. Our treehouse? Come on, beat it! Oh, that definitely does not sound good. The funniest thing happened. <laughs> it was the most unbelievable thing you ever saw, Tarzan. They came out of nowhere, totally unprovoked. Please forgive us, Tarzan. It was our first time babysitting. I don't blame you. I blame it. A Tarzan. Jane, a leopard cannot change its spots. He must go. Well, hello, 
there. Oh, I I'm sorry, Kala. No, no, I built it once, I can build it again. If I may be quite honest, I think I made a dreadful mistake. But I can't bear the thought of leaving him alone in the jungle. That's exactly how I felt about Tarzan. But it's not the same thing, is it? Oh, I think it is. You care about this cub. You want to help him. Oh, Carla, what should I do? Well, if there had been other humans around when I found Tarzan, I would have taken him to them. Good day, Tarzan. I thought I might be of some assistance. Though, uh, perhaps I should have brought a hammer, huh? I'm finished. Ah, yes. <laughs> so you are, so you are. All this way. Oh. oh, by the way, have you seen Jane? I've been meaning to ask her something. I thought she was with you. Why, no. Uh, I haven't seen her all day. <laughs> Though it is a big jungle, you know, with all the foliage, uh, sight lines, and not quite what they used to be. Well, you can rest easy. I think we finally got the gorilla area all cleaned up. Elephant power, baby. Have you seen Jane? Jane? I think she went somewhere with Carla and uh, Commodore Fluffy Paws. Commodore Fluffy Paws? <laughs> the cub. Regal name, huh? They wouldn't. Would they? We must find them. If we can't locate the cub's mother, will another leopard take it in? We can only hope. It's curious, though. I, we haven't seen a single leopard yet. And we should have by now? Oh, yes. We're deep in leopard territory. Kala, I think we've found them. No, they found us. Yes, well, I've faced leopards before and lived, and today won't be any different. See here, we, we just came to return this little fellow. <coughs> well, that just settles that, then we'll just be going. <laughs> or not? Carl, I just wanted to tell you that my time in the jungle has been the most enjoyable part of my life. <laughs>
that the cub's mother? She's helping us. What's she saying? She's saying we should leave. Now. Well then, let's not squander her gratitude. Go, quickly! I was quite the good diver in finishing school. Very nice. <laughs> well, Mr. Jungle Man, care to try it yourself? <sighs> Did you see? Stand back. It's okay. It's her. Huh? who said a leopard can't change its spots. Well, they can't. But maybe there's more to leopards than I thought. Oh, so you were, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, wrong about the leopards? <sighs> I was wrong. Well, we'll just chalk it all up to learning experience. <laughs> now, let's think of a better name for you than Commodore Fluffy Paws. on the legend of Tarzan. What's the occasion? It's Tantor, Daddy. He thinks he's... Oh, sick. Is he going to be all right? I'm afraid he's suffering from some sort of poisoning. It's the river, all right. The answers are hidden in here. What is it, Daddy? The water has definitely been contaminated by some kind of inorganic matter. The problem came from up the river. They were sick. Yes. Obviously, we haven't yet reached the source of the poison. Strangers have come to our land. Now my people are sick and weak. Who has done this? You made my people sick! Basuli! Show Tarzan the mountain. So, Tarzan, you think you can defeat that?
This destruction must be stopped. But how? They have guns and we have nothing. It will take weapons more powerful than rocks. Perhaps not. Come back! Breaking into a new vein today. Better hit something soon. I'm sick of this place. You and me both, buddy. <gasps> well, maybe this load will turn up some decent gold nuggets. Feeling fairly constrained and useless? Uh, uh, yes, quite useless indeed. Perhaps if we learned a little more about our situation. Capital idea, Jane. We'll open the lines of communication. <clears throat> Kiwazi, sir, can you tell us more about the mountain that Basuli took Tarzan to see? Please, you must believe that whatever is going on there, we have nothing to do with it. Men like you came and tore a wound in the side of the mountain. Big machines dug out dirt and rocks. Dirty water flowed into the river. Soon, the animals and my people grew sick. Uh, the mountain digging, mm, flowing, what on it? Oh, of course! A mine! They use chemicals to separate the ore from the dirt and rock. That's what's been poisoning the river. Don't they know that these chemicals are deadly? They know. Then they're killing the jungle for their own selfish gains. It's, it's simply deplorable. Deplorable indeed, but not unheard of, I'm afraid. It's no wonder you don't trust us. Oh, dear. What is it, Jane? Tarzan is going to try to stop them. One man against so many? That is foolish. Yes, well, diplomacy is not Tarzan's strong suit. He is disconcertingly direct. Oh, the same can be said for Basuli. You seen McTeague? Checking on the hall. Mr. McTeague, the men in tunnel number five are complaining that the heat is stifling. Tell them when they find gold, they can buy a lemonade. Yes, sir. Do you lead these men? My, my, what have we here? You some kind of jungle man? This place is poisoning the river. People and animals are sick and dying. I'm digging for gold here, jungle man. It's the only worthwhile thing in this whole forsaken land. Now, I've got work to do, so if you'll excuse me... This jungle is my home, and I will protect it. <laughs> well, I can see that you're very determined. Too bad. Get rid of him. I told you we need weapons. Get them! Hope we find those guys pretty soon. I'm getting ill just looking at that water. Oh, what if we miss them? Do you think we've come too far? Should we turn back? Did you see Tarzan back there? No. Then we're not turning back. Keep your eyes on the prize, Tantor. Oh, but that's the whole problem. I don't know where to put my eyes. If only there was some way of knowing where Tarzan is. Some some sort of sign. <laughs> what, like some trail of bruised and beaten thugs? Or, or maybe some gunshots? Sounds like trouble. And where there's trouble, there's, there's Tarzan. Tarzan.
them get away! Stop them! So soon, I won't hear of it. <laughs> I've captured Mazuli and Taza. Oh, no. Good heavens. Prepare for battle. Uh, Mr. Kiwazi, wait. <laughs> Forgive me for intruding, sir, but, but a direct attack would be disastrous. You said so yourself. Uh, Jane's right. Many men could be lost with no guarantee of saving your son or Tarzan. We do not want to fight, but what choice is there? Give us a chance. Uh, that's quite right. We have the most marvelously clever plan. Do we have a plan? Please, trust us. We, too, have a loved one in danger. I will give you one chance. You came back to help me, just as you helped me. You really are different from the strangers. <clears throat> Not that it makes any difference, given our present situation. See? Your antics were nothing more than a minor annoyance. Minor annoyance? Get it? <laughs> the mine will soon be operating again. Too bad the same can't be said for you. Finish them off. <laughs> Mr. McTeague, sir. There's some government officials here to see you. What? Officials? Get these two out of sight. And no noise. Ian McTeague, owner of this mine. Ah, yes. Splendid to meet you. Archimedes Porter, Chief Mine Inspector for the Territorial Administration. And I'm his faithful secretary. Oh, uh, yes. Quite invaluable. Oh, thank you very much, Jane. Mm, don't mention it, sir. So, uh, how can I be of service? Ah, well, we, uh, need to have a look around. Regulations, you understand. Our job is to make sure everything is up to snuff. Oh, well, right you are, sir. Tip-top, spit-spot. <laughs> well, um, we are very busy. Oh, pay us no mind, then. We'll just pop in here and there. <laughs> Coming, sir? Hmm? Oh, oh, ah, oh, yes. <laughs> right behind you, my uh, secretary. <sighs> uh, oh, mercury and sodium cyanide, I should say. And you let it flow right into the river? Well, can't let it overflow right here now, can we? Hmm. Well, rather creaky, isn't it? Oh, yes, quite. Mark that down, Jane. Hmm. Oh. Uh, can we look in there? Not a good idea. It's very dangerous. You have to be thorough, you know. The mine authority won't abide an incomplete report. <gasps> this is outrageous. Appalling. Bound by rope? Such working conditions are totally unacceptable. Come along, men. You may file a complaint at the territorial office. Not so fast. Exactly where is this territorial office? Uh, uh, well, you'll say? <laughs> yes, well, it's uh, over on... Uh, well, you know, directions were never my strong suit, you see. <laughs> well, it's north of here, or perhaps it's northeast, wouldn't you say, Daddy? I, I mean, sir? I don't know who you are, but I intend to find out. Let them go. You have me. I won't leave you again. Oh, so it's like that, huh? Get rid of them all. It's time to get back to business. <laughs> Tentor. Jane. 
Effective getaway vehicle, actually. There they are! You are safe. Thanks to Tarzan, and the others. I was wrong about you. Please, accept my apologies. Oh, nonsense. Perfectly understandable. All sorted out now. What's the matter? We escaped, but accomplished nothing. The poison still flows into the river. And the strangers will be angry. Move it! Push! When you get in range, hit them. Hard! I want them out of this jungle for good. I say we attack, now, before it's too late. Their weapons are too powerful. Our people would be slaughtered. People need you. Basuli is right. Attack, I say. Normally I'm a peaceful fellow, but these miners have gone too far. Now, Daddy? Kiwathe, there's a little expression we have that goes, an eye for an eye. I share your anger, but they will be expecting an attack. Well, so then we'll just have to do something unexpected, won't we? What's your idea? That was it, actually. Granted, it's a little thin on details. We are so concerned with the stranger's weapons, we have overlooked a far more powerful force. I think this should do nicely. Uh, what's your opinion, Kiwazi? We will begin at once. <laughs> Simple, but effective. We'll see. What happened to my water? <gasps> Would you look at that? 
That must have taken a lot of work. And clever engineering. I bet they... McKee! You've got no right to dam this river! How dare you speak of rights? You abuse the jungle solely to enrich yourself! What of our rights? Or those of the animals that lay sick and dying? Yeah, yeah, well, I'm not gonna stand here debating. I need this river, and I am going to take it back! So be it. Tantor! All right, pal, you're on! <laughs> done well. Get up! Cowards! The gold in this mountain belongs to me. This mountain, this river, and this jungle belong to no man. You have done enough damage. Go. Now. One day soon, I'll be rich and you'll still be stuck here. I can live with that. Me too. Good riddance to your sir. I told him, make he was it.